What's going on? Matt Savoka here from Awesomeo.com, bringing you my top 10 plays on DraftKings for today, Saturday, May 7th, 2022, in the NBA. A two-game slate, a really exciting two-game slate, two 1-1 series that are going to have their ties broken. We start in the East, Boston and Milwaukee. Milwaukee currently favored by 1.5. Each team with a blowout win in this series. Marcus Smart, a game-time decision for Boston, which is affecting our projections. There's really, a lot of these projections are in flux because of that, and the deep Defensive schemes will absolutely shift for Boston as well if Smart isn't able to go. Then we go out west with the higher total game of these two contests, Memphis and Golden State. A really, really entertaining series so far. No Iggy, no Gary Payton for Golden State, and yet they are still favored by 7.5 at home a couple of scorers on their team have not really been doing all that much scoring so you feel like they could get hot at some point why not game three at home still memphis absolutely has a shot before we get into this one though go ahead and like this video subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell too so that you always know when we're going live you guys know what to do and if you could give me matt savoka a follow on twitter at draftaholic that's always much appreciated as well also want to give a huge shout out to our presenting sponsor Sponsor, no House Advantage. You see their ad at the bottom of the screen there. No House Advantage is offering a new way to play DFS by offering peer-to-peer player-based contests. So you're beating your friends, not the house. And you can use promo code AWESOMO when you sign up to get up to a $25 first match deposit bonus. It's 100% peer-to-peer, and they've got over 500 player props offered for you. Truly the best place to play daily prop-based contests against your friends. Okay, guys, on the screen, you see my... 10 through 6 of my top plays on DraftKings and kind of a log jam here in optimal lineup percentage. We see just a 2 percentage point difference between the number 10 and the number 6 player. So take your pick, really. Play 1, play 2 maybe here from this group. Don't play too many. You don't want all value plays. You need some superstar power in there. Drew Holiday and Otto Porter both have a 31% chance of being in the optimal lineup. Obviously, neither of those players are contributing much in the scoring category, whereas Andrew Wiggins actually has a chance to do that. Clay Thompson's scoring has been down of late, and Wiggins has an outside chance of being that extra scorer that Golden State desperately needs right now, though Jordan Poole, Steph Curry, they're usually taking care of a lot of that still. Brooke Lopez and Tyus Jones look a little bit better. Lopez, the big fella for Milwaukee, certainly will get plenty of usage, will probably do a lot of the dirty work down low. He's got a third of a chance of being in the optimal lineup. And then Tyus Jones, the point guard for Memphis, is the salary-saving option, at least here in the six through 10 range, 3,600, but just a 19 point median projection. This is really all about the salary saving you get, and he just needs about 30 points and you feel really good about your chances in a GPP. Certainly not my favorite play, but still an optimal lineup percentage, good enough for number six. Doesn't quite make the top five though. Who does? Let's watch and find out. At number five, it's Boston's Jalen Brown. Kind of an up and down playoffs for Jalen Brown here, but when he's on, he's on, absolutely. The 8,000 salary, it's a little high. It means you need like 50, 55 points to feel really good in the GPP. Still, I think that's a that's doable for him. I think 35 to 45 is a much more reasonable expectation. One thing we know is he's going to get playing time. 37 minutes plus is probably a given here. We've got him at 39 minutes as a median projection. That's a little bullish for me. Still, if you look at that many minutes, he's going to smash these points, this, these projections that we have for him. 24.2 points, 6.6 .6 rebounds, 3.7 assists, 1.4 steals, and even a 30% chance of a block. I think Jalen Brown is a really, really solid play. Milwaukee has been anything but easy defensively, number one in defensive rating among all playoff teams, and yet Brown still comes in with a 39% chance of being in the optimal lineup. Good enough for number five. At number four, we will keep it right here in that Boston-Milwaukee game with Robert Williams, the big man for Boston, still working his way back from injury. Good to see him in there at all, but a 28-minute projection for him, honestly, we don't really know how that's going to go. If this game is anywhere near a blowout either, on, for either side, Williams' playing time will be drastically affected as they move to get him back into full playing shape. Still, he's got a solid median projection, about 27 and a half points. And with that 4,800 salary on DraftKings, you really just need about 35 points to feel good about that, uh, about your chances in a GPP, something he gets to in over 20% of our latest simulations. Robert Williams, again, doing that dirty work, not necessarily as a scorer, 8.8 .8 points as a median projection, but in fantasy, rebounds, steals, blocks, assists, 
You don't need that many to get up there in the scoring category. 40% of the time, Robert Williams is in the optimal lineup tonight. At number three, it's DeAnthony Melton. There's going to be fallout for Memphis because of that Dylan Brooks suspension. Suspended for this game because of the flagrant foul that he committed in game two. Melton is probably going to take those minutes up. Right now, we got him projected for 24 and a half minutes. And while he's not contributing a ton really in any category, he's contributing enough to make him worthwhile at a 4,300 salary. We've got him over 23 fantasy points as a median projection, needing about 30 to 35 points to feel good about him in GPPs. He's even scoring 45 fantasy points in about 1 to 3% of our simulations. Melton is obviously a value play before he's a ceiling play, but you got to take advantage of the fact that we are getting some more playing time from the Memphis backcourt. Obviously, John Morant's going to be playing plenty, but Dylan Brooks' suspension probably lets Melton become a value play. He's in the optimal lineup 40% of the time. At number two and my favorite player on the slate, Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's got a 43% chance of being in the optimal lineup, and I'm going to have more than that. The 11500 salary, not too much at all when you're considering the fact that he's got over 61 points as a median projection, and then we just need like 68 to 75 points, and now we're really cooking in GPPs. He scores his GPP goal at like 33% chance of the time. We're actually seeing a 38% chance in our latest Sims. I think that's a little high, but when you consider the fact that he's going to play over 37 minutes, almost guaranteed, he's probably going to score over 30 points. We got him projected for 31. And then considering he's doing so much on the glass, he's even had a ton of assists in this series as well. We got him projected for a relatively modest seven assists. Giannis is just playing the best basketball of his career. When he plays to his peak level, literally no one in the NBA can stop him. I'm surprised the optimal lineup percentage is this low, and I am going to be having a ton of him today. Giannis Antetokounmpo, technically number two. He's in the optimal lineup 43% of the time. Now, before I reveal my final play, my number one play on DraftKings for this Saturday slate, just want to remind you guys, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell too, so that you always know when we're going live you guys know what to do and if you could give me matt savoka a follow on twitter at draftaholic always much appreciated as well also one more huge shout out our presenting sponsor today is no house advantage make sure when you sign up you use promo code awesome you see it at the bottom of the screen to get up to a 25 dollars first match deposit bonus so you can start playing their daily peer-to-peer -peer prop based contest they got over 500 player prop contests offered and you can start beating your friends and not the house download the app today or play over on nohouseadvantage.com okay guys let's get into my number one play on DraftKings for today at number one on DraftKings and this truly is the value production sweet spot it's Clay Thompson of the Golden State Warriors Man, he's got a 50% chance of being in the optimal lineup, but I think that really this is all about him regressing back to a mean here. He's only at 13.5 points per game right now in the series. That is not going to keep up. He's at 20 points per game over the course of the playoffs, 20.3 this season, but in games where he plays 30 plus minutes, he's actually well over that, 23 points per game. And in 10 of the 38 times he did that this season, 10 of the 33, I should say, he scored 25 or more points, just giving you an idea of the ceiling that is there today. Right now, we got him projected for 23 and a half points, similar to what he gets when he plays these high minutes, but we got him projected at nearly 40 minutes. If he plays that much, the ceiling is incredibly high for Thompson, especially if he gets hot as a shooter, which you know he can do, especially at home. He needs about 50 points for you to feel good about him in a GPP, something he gets to about 10% of the time, and that optimal lineup percentage doesn't lie. That's 7 7100 salary he fits in as a great play in half of our optimal lineups Clay Thompson appears, making him the number one value play on DraftKings tonight. And that is going to do it for my top 10 plays on DraftKings for today, Saturday, May 7th, 2022. It's going to be a really, really exciting two-gamer. I'm, I'm especially excited for that game out west, that back-and-forth series. No Dylan Brooks is going to make things really, really interesting. And I do ultimately think Golden State wins this one, but... I think Memphis keeps it tough all the way through. We will be back with all the coverage you need leading up to tip-off tonight and every night in the NBA. And my buddy Josh will be back with all the good contenders videos throughout the NBA playoffs. Until next time, I'm Matt Savoka from AwesomeO.com. We'll see you guys later.